name. And you can, oh wait, oh yeah. And then you can tell it what the file name should be on the other end. So it doesn't have to be the same. So you just have to say that this is some sort of uh, whatever file, maybe someone would accept it actually or something that looks nonchalant. Uh, and then target the device and you can kind of see the, the iterations. It's like five lines each of it. It finds the device, it's sending the file and then it's done. Um, but it does take quite a while for a size. This, this probably took 10 minutes to send the size of a 10,000K. So yeah, it, it will take a little bit of time. And then on the other end, you can kind of see it has a little pop-up. Uh, that pop-up, um, you can either, so save all in the bottom right left. That's what I clicked and that was the, the downfall of the device. Um, so this pops up there and um, I imagine a user would probably notice if I send a file that says evil file. So uh, it actually, it generates a counter too. You have that option. So the files can look differently and that's just how I knew how many were up there. If you're testing, it makes it a lot easier because uh, another it's sort of denial of service in this and this kind of falls into both of them. Uh, Pop-up menu denial of service. Uh, if you're sending a constant stream of files that are very small, this is another option, and they click no, it pops right back up. You click no, it pops right back up. So unless they get away from you, they can't actually disable Bluetooth unless there's some hardware setting because they can't get the start menu because they click start menu and that pop-up uh, is, you know, uh, a higher priority than the start menu. So all you do, and this happened to me, and I was like, no, stop, no, crap, I gotta go over the other side, because because it kept popping up, and I couldn't actually do anything on the device because of the pop-up menus. So I'm sure there's all kinds of other things that could utilize that sort of an attack, but uh, that did happen. And uh, so if you really want to just annoy somebody, that's that's a good way to do it. Um, another tool I've been working on is a uh, pwn tooth. This is an uh, attack suite essentially. Um, I've tried to bundle together uh, some Bluetooth, some common Bluetooth attacks. Um, other than the ones I mentioned here, none of these are mine. But I figured I, I'd make a, a little bit of an easier way for certain people to, to do pen testing. Um, there's a really good uh, actual uh, suite uh, in Backtrack uh, that's, that's, you know, if you're a first time user, you, you want to go that route. Um, it's, it's a very, it steps you through things. Mine does not do a step through. Um, what this is, is it basically allows you to run a script and it will scan for everything and only run the attacks once against it. So it, it, it's a binary file but it could have been a script file. Um, but it only runs the attack list once. You provide the list of attacks you want to launch um, through the tools. So I'm, I'm not, there's no point in click or anything or you're not just selection. You make this config file whatever you want. Um, and you know you run those attacks against the devices. You can say one specific device. You can say all devices in range, and it'll run all of those against it at a time. Uh, I don't do any report generation. I probably won't do any report gener generation. Maybe, possibly, but so all you get is the uh, the output of the actual attack. It's not going to tell you. I'm not going to provide. Or Ponzi is not going to provide the information that says uh, this succeeded, this failed, whatever. Um, but it's mostly there to make. I, I worked on a project where I had to run a lot of attacks. Excuse me. I had to run uh, attacks a lot of times against a device, and, and then in, I have to type in the Mac every time, and it got to be a little bit of a pain. So this is more just the, the automatic way to do things. Um, yeah. So here's the config file. Um, the configuration file uses a, a star as a wildcard, and that's where it inserts the MAC address. So a lot of them will tell you this is where you know the MAC address should be when you're running the command. That's basically all it really does. Other than it could just be a bash script, except for that it scans and only runs it once. Um, this is the, the default area where the, the file is installed, and uh, it will. Um, you can you can run it uh, multiple times through. So you can say I want to actually run this script as many times as you want, and it'll do the attacks for you. And uh, that's just an example of uh, the specific log file that you want to log the information out to, and um, just scanning it ten times. So you can specify a different configuration file if you want, but. This just makes your life uh, a little bit easier if you're going to be running uh, lots of attacks against a single device or in an area of devices. If you're going to be pen testing at your business, business and you want to see what vulnerabilities are out there and you're walking around with it, this might help you out a little bit. An example. Um, so pound is to uh, keep it from being read in. So uh, the list comes with the examples. Um, it's got some default ones. And uh, I tried to put some in there, some of the commands, because I know some of these tools, while awesome, are not 
as you know widely used, so there's not a whole lot of documentation and examples of things. So I tried to include examples of how to use them um, in a way that I would normally use them. So that should help you out if you're if you are new to this um, in a in getting started. So I provided a couple examples. You can add whatever you want, Bluetooth related. Use as long as you use the wildcard, it'll insert the address in there and you know run whatever you want. Um, here's a couple of project pages for the different things, and I'm up for Q and A. So anybody? Yeah. I, it's something I started years ago. I just decided to put it up there, and then like ever since, every presentation I do has a bunny. So uh, yeah, uh, we have any questions? Is anybody, what time, you know what time it is? Not good. Any questions? Nobody cares. All right. Um, the problem with the you have to find it when it's non-discoverable, and that's a big pain. Um, there is actually uh, uh, some presentations. I think they did a presentation last year at DEF CON and then at ShmooCon um, using a uh, USSRP to monitor the bandwidth. The, sorry, monitor the um, the frequencies and you know getting it that way. But that's frequency analysis. So you can discover devices there, and you might be able to pull out the Mac, and it's very complicated and long. Um, but uh, Red Fang is a great option to finding non-discoverable devices, but it, it takes so long it's not terribly practical. Uh, yeah, actually we've got some uh, Hackers for Charity free swag here. If anybody wants it, you can come on up and throw some too. Will people want this stuff? All right, I'm going to see how far I can get out. Ah, almost to the back. Deflected. All right, I'm going to be in, uh, in room 114 if you have questions about that or maybe about this.